Hi everyone, it's Bruns here and welcome back to another video and today we are playing Nadir which is a roguelike deck builder with a twist. You have to plan your moves and also the enemy's moves and it looks really interesting. Let's dive into it and see what it is. So I think I guess on the full game you'll be able to play with these three characters. At the moment we can only play with Jane. And she is Jean Dark, the liberator, hero, saint, and heretic, a symbol of faith and virtue betrayed by her fellow Christians and damned for an eternity in hell. Later, sainthood could not change her faith. The deed was done, her fate decided. And this is our starting deck. Okay, let's just let's just go. We'll learn as we go. I haven't touched this. Before you enter Nadir, you will have to fight your way to its gates. Make your path to the bottom, but be sure to be ready when the fight comes with the gate's guardian, Cerberus. You will encounter enemies that you will have to fight to proceed. But you may also find a friendly merchant or a place to rest. Choose one of the available events on the map. Remember, you can't go back to a higher circle. So, so here's where we start, I guess. Yeah, we obviously can't jump down so let's choose that one so i was watching the stream on the steam fest of this game and from what i understand here are obviously my cards and here is what the enemy is going to do so it's a tough fight but i still have an ace up my sleeve so let's just say i will slash and i must aim at the stone of the same color as my card so i will do Five damage and the enemy will do six damage to me. I think that's what it is. But obviously on their turn, that's what one they're gonna do it. To spend sac sacrum or profanum energy and play the card. So sacrum, I guess, is blue and profanum is the other red cards. I'm not sure what that means yet. Let's deal four damage. This rage, all damage dealt by character with rage is increased by status value. After damage is resolved, the rage value is so. The enemy might go into two rage or one rage. Or he might deal four damage to me. I'm gonna say let's say one rage. Now it's time for the enemy's move. At least I know his intentions. That's right. So he's gonna damage me and go into rage, I think. There you go. So he's hit my armor, so I'm good. The enemy's almost dead. Cards have been dealt, let's finish it. So I can only hit the red blocks. So he's gonna hit five damage unless I kill him first. So I'm gonna kill him now because he's only got five left. I'm gonna deal five here and he's dead. Nice. And here are my spoils 300 coin obols. You can buy new cards with obols. Here's my experience. And I can get a new card. I can claim the card or I can skip it. Deal 5 damage, apply 3 poison. Revert. Revert shuffles the sacred profana steals at random. Stells? Steals? Deal 5 piercing, ignores damage, I ignores armor. Yeah, I like this. Oh, poison. Yeah, let's go with poison. Poison is too. Um, oh, I'll read that. Poison it. Oh, how it unselect the card. Okay. It's two actions, poison, but it can be a good thing anyway. Let's go with poison. So we're down here now. Fight one of the accursed residents of Nadir. The beggar. She's all very gritty. One thing I'll say the music is fantastic. It's very atmospheric. I love the art. Um, it's just, it's really, really good. Everything matches, really. Look at the hand here holding the cards. All very bloody. A nice effect here with some shaders. So good. They've done a really good job. What are these? Are these like faces with Nostrils with stuff running down their noses and eyes bleeding. Gosh. Grim. Right. We don't need any armor. And we can gain two rage. 
when we can deal 5 damage. If we gain 2 rage, they're gonna deal 6 damage to us. Uh, we can deal 5 damage. We'll, we'll swap 5 by 4 damage. Let's go into rage. We'll take 6 damage. Is too much? I recovered all my health, so I'm sure this will be fine. The rage value is decreased by... Ah, uh, this is just... Oh, there we go. All damage dealt by your character with rage is increased by status value. Okay. So, let's see. That was minus 7, so increase attack by 2. And it's going to make me weak if I do this. I can recover 5 armor. I don't need armor now. But... I will gain blur. I don't need to gain blur. Because... Oh, I could, actually. But then, no, it's fine. Let's just do this. It's going to make me weak. I can live with that. Now it turns out that this is going to have to happen. And that's it. And turn. Six. Minus four. And four damage. I thought he was going to make me weak. Is that, is that not what I chose in the end? So here's the poison card. Let's go with this. It's poison now for three... Um, three turns, is it? Repost. Gain two counter. Yeah, let's get some counter here. And... We don't need to gain more counter. Let's just leave it at that. He took some poison damage. He got the armor back. And he damaged my armor. But I counter-attacked. And he attacked me again. And then I killed him because I have more counter. So that was that. Okay. But we can heal 8 damage. Game on blow 1 counter. Do 15 breaking. Only to armor. Hmm. But I mean, 15 breaking. Isn't that. If a normal attack, wouldn't it be first to the armor as well? I guess this is a high damage to the armor. So maybe we should take this instead of heal. Let's take the breaking. And we're gonna go down a little more. Ah, so we have some choices now. So we can come here. Or we can come down here. Uh, let's go up here. I know we can't go back. Once we go down. Lump of flesh. Your turn is to gain range. Rage. Let's get some rage. It's gonna damage us. Let's get some counter. And he can put his armor up, that's fine. And we're gonna do some breaking. Let's make him damage us. Recover five armor, gain one blur. Hmm. Yeah. Six damage, two weak. Let's do this. And we're gonna end our turn. Is a counter. And we're gonna kill him. Oh, we didn't. I'm just not sure where do our points, where our um, not points. How many? How many? Is it? How many times can we attack? Is it until we just use all our cards? It's just, it's just not very clear. Nice. Okay, let's read this. The battle begins. You will just dealt five cards to your hands. They are two in color, representing the sacred inferno. Three st stone stales at the top of the screen. Yeah, this is what we know. When you play a sacred, the first sacred steel will turn around and change itself to profano. Ah, so they change. Red to blue, blue to red. Thus, playing cards changes the amounts of available sacred profano lines. Play different cards. Now it's Starts the enemy's turn, who will play the action written on the visible sides of Sacred Profano. Needs manipulate to advantage. Fine. 
Well, let's get... This is rage, okay. So let's get some counter here. Let's put some poison on him. Oh, he's dead anyway. Fine. Fly weak, gain two blur and revert. Revert reshuffles the second profound styles at random. Mm. Piercing. Well, yeah, let's get piercing. Let's try this. So now we can go here. Oh, I can't click on it. Oh, here we go. Welcome. Ah, you can buy cards. Revert creates three Holy Strike cards and adds them to your hand. They will stay in your deck until, until the end of the battle. Deal 5 damage, draw 1 card, deal 10 breaking, recover 10 armor. Okay, this is good. Apply 1 weak. Decrease by status value. You could say we decrease by status value. Is that 1? What's the status value? Hmm. Let's go. I'm not sure what this one is, but I'm curious about this Holy Strike. Buy this and go. So now we can go here. Again, the mouse is going to be crazy here. We can go to either one of these. Go to this one here. Light Maggot. Yuck. <laughs> what the hell is this? That's just grim. Okay, we can't use this. I need more profanum. Right. Where where does it say that I need more profanum? Oh, I think I know. Two means there's two slabs here, so I can use it. One is because there's one slab. Aha. I can only do this one or this one now. Okay, I understand. So this will poison me. I'd rather not. Do five damage, gain one counter. Acid. Create one acid card and add them to your discard pile. They will stay in your deck until the end of the battle. Uh, have a look. Now we can play up to three. If, if, if I had a three, because there's three uh, red slabs there. Or stealth, like they called it. Um, 15 breaking, I don't need that much. Deal 5 damage, draw 1 card. Deal 5 damage. Let's deal 5 damage and draw 1 card. Precise can stack and each point indicates the number of attacks with increased critical hit chance. Hmm, could critical hit me. Okay, so let's do this instead. Let's not give him critical hit. I'm gonna get more counter here. Rather not. Uh, gonna poison us, get acid. Who's the get getting the acid? The enemy or, or me? Okay, he doesn't have any more shield. It's only got now health, so. Let's do this. And now it's their turn. Okay, we're poisoned. Again. And I don't know what that was. The poison obviously bypasses armor. So we can deal 5 damage. Apply, deal 5 damage, apply 3 poison. Let's do this. And now we can use this divine intervention. Deals 5 damage, ghostly burn. Ghostly cards will disappear from your deck at the end of the combat. A card with burn will not go to your discard pile after use, as being unavailable for the rest of the combat. Okay. So I think we can kill it now. Maybe. Maybe not. That's it. Here comes. Took some damage from the poison. And he got counterattacked and he died. 
It's just missing some um, sound effects there. But everything else is looking really sharp. There's a little problem with selecting the cards, but it doesn't really spoil the game. It's, it's pretty good, actually. And they obviously focus on the soundtrack, and I love that they've done that, because music can make such a huge difference for a game. Do 30 damage, revert. This is massive. Let's click this one. We have to make sure we, we have enough black... Uh, Blue stars. Uh, I'm trying to find where do I click to move on, but my mouse won't find it. See, I'm hovering right over it, and oh, I can move this around. Okay, that helps. Oh, cool. Oh, I can zoom out. I can zoom in. Oh boy, look at that. Is that where we want to go? Okay, an old chest, what can be locked inside? Ooh, he's opening his chest. What do we get? I'm not sure where we go. Uh, so we can go here or here. If we go here, we get some more, another item here. A merchant willing to trade. Let's just go straight through. We don't have enough cash, so I don't think we need a merchant at this point. Gunnery demon. Yuck. <laughs> it's very good. Deal 5 damage. He's gonna gain some armor. Fine. Deals 5 damage. Apply 3 poison. Yes. Shield can prevent all incoming damage from the nearest next attack. Okay. That's okay. I can live with that. Uh, repost. Gain 2 counter. And we can revert and see what happens. And then deal 15 breaking. Nice. Let's do that. And you can recover some armor after that. This is my final word. That is your final word. It took some poison damage. Attacking us. Our armor. And... Oh, what's that? Not sure what happened there. Is there different tips here? No, it's always the same. Yeah. Right. Punish. Deal 30 damage. This is gonna kill it. Let's do it. Nice. See you in hell. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, we can get a card. Gain 6 armor smiths. Gain armor smith points equal to the armor smith value at the start of your turn. What's armor smith? The armor. Do 10 breaking, recover 10 armor, deal 5 break, apply 1 weak. Let's get this one. Let's recover some armor then. So, okay. We can go. Oh, we can go here now anyway. Oh, let's go to the merchant, why not? We got 300 coins, battle cry, deal 7 piercing and revert. He will shuffle the stealth. Revert, gain 2 blur, heal 8 damage, deal 5 cards, deal 5 card, 5 damage, draw 1 card. Well... I've got 18 cards now, is it? 18 cards is not too bad, I, I don't usually like to go to have more than 20, I, 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 I usually don't like to go more than 20, but I already think 20 is too many. But at the same time, I do want to try... Some other stuff. So I think we have something like this. Let's just leave it. Let's just exit. We can go here now. Like one of the accursed. Here we go. Fate Singer. Well, like it's in a one of those vests for you know the the, the, the crazy folks. <laughs> um, we've got block recovers five armor gain one blur in two counter do five damage hmm he's got blur and counter as well um that's fine i'm okay with blur let's get some rage maybe 
10 damage. What? Hmm. Hmm. Let's do fine. We can do this. I'll gain two counter. It will gain one. And then we can gain two rage. And it can be precise. Damn. Fine. 20 breaking. Oh. Maybe that was the. I could have used this card somehow as well. I'm not doing so well this time, it seems. I have less health than the enemy has and less armor. My turn now. So deal 10 breaking, recover 10 armor. Yes. And then recover 5 armor and gain 1 blur. Oof. This will break all my armor. Hmm. Divine Intervention. Let's go with this. Size. And we can use... This only deals damage to the armor, so... I think I'm okay with that. Seven piercing, seven damage, I mean... Whole thing is not great. Recover five armor, gain one blur. Let's do this. And then let's do... Oof, I don't know. I should see what happens. I've got some... Have I got counter? No, I've got blur. Ugh, okay. Not too bad. I think we can kill it now, maybe. Maybe. Gain two counter. Oh, wait, do five damage, draw one card. Yes. We can do this now because we don't have any armor anyway. Gain one counter, gain two counter. Make it blur, that's fine. 20 breaking, I don't mind this. We can kill it now, I think. Like that. Oof. Draw two cards. Yeah. Draw two cards. Let's take that one. Because that will give us a chance to continue to stay on the game. Um, so we can go only here now. I think this is... We're almost at the end. Moment of respite to regain some of the lost HP. Have I... Regain my HP now? I don't know. Cerberus. Alright, this is Cerberus. Oh, right. I thought Cerberus was a dog with three heads. Uh, in Dante's Divine Comedy, obviously it isn't. Gain two rage, and he's gonna counter five damage, one poison. And look at this background. Oh, look at the guy with the spirit of temperance at the beginning of each battle, restore 12 HP. Ah, because I got that. So he follows you, and he, sh he just shows up at the battle. That I hadn't noticed that before. Three holy strike cards. Yeah, let's do this. 5 damage. Hold on. Do 30 damage. Hmm. Got to counter precise. Fine. Um do five. Uh, I won't be able to use that 30 damage anymore. Damn it. And let's gain some rage then. Hmm. I don't think this is gonna go my way.
Okay. I'm poisoned. So we can gain some counter. Oops. And we can gain some rage. And we can't do anything else. Okay. Poisoned. Damn. Okay, we, we have some counter, so we did a little bit of damage, taking some damage as well. <sighs> Recover five armor, gain one blur, yes. And now we can do 10 breaking and recover 10 armor, yes. Let's do that. And now we can't do anything else. Okay, we've recovered a little bit, but the poison's gonna, I think it's the poison's gonna kill us. Ugh. Minus seven each turn. Damn. We can draw two cards. So let's think about this. I would like to use this one. So I need to use a blue one. Let's gain two counter. And now let's deal 30. Uh, 15 breaking. Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, that was big. Backstab. With 5 piercing, I don't need it. I think I'm gonna save it. Because I think I'm gonna die very soon otherwise. I have to have one of those big damaging cards. If I wanna live. Oh, it's gonna be precise. And it's got the counter now. Yeah, chance of critical hit. Uh, 10 piercing, 5 damage, 15 breaking. I don't need any of this. Well, this one. I've only got 7 health. I don't think we're gonna make this. This will kill me. I think we're dead anyway. 5 damage. Yeah, I think we're pretty much dead now. Oh, and we're dead. Okay, thank you for playing at your demo. So, that was the demo, guys. The full game is coming out at some point soon. The demo is out on the Steam store, and uh, it's worth trying. It's a very interesting concept. It's definitely different, because it deals with you having to choose what the enemy does as well. And that's how it determines all the styles when they change to red and blue, determines how many actions you actually have so it's an interesting concept something i don't think i have seen this done before if you enjoyed this go and grab the demo now and if you enjoyed this game drop me a comment tell me what you liked about it give me a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time